Here's a super quick tip video on AutoJoin, one of the more advanced automation features in Pro Tools. AutoJoin can be found on the Automation Enables window. You can get to that window by going to the Window menu and choosing Automation. Here on the Automation Enables window, you can see the different types of automation that are right enabled currently, and down here you have the selector for AutoJoin. To enable it, just click it. Auto join is a function that specifically refers to any track set to latch mode. What it does is it allows you to write a pass of automation in latch, then stop the transport, and then the next time you hit play again, it will automatically pick up writing further automation at that point on any parameter that was last writing on the prior pass. That's a mouthful, so let's take a look at what that means. We've got our VCA fader here for the same song that we looked at in our last how-to video, and we've got the floating fader for it open right here. Let's play a bit and write some automation in Latch. And, this is a night we'll be free. and now I'll hit stop, and you'll notice we have this new vertical red line right here. That is the auto join indicator. The next time I play and I pass that red line, it will automatically continue writing automation on any track that was in latch that had been writing automation, and it will continue at the exact same point where it left off. So you can see the automation left off right here. If I click here and hit play, it will pick up and jump right back into latch automation at that point. So clearly this can be both quite powerful and quite dangerous. It's a super handy way to guarantee that you can roll right back into the exact same mix position that you had without chasing faders around. But at the same time, if you have a parameter that you have forgotten about and you leave it in latch and you just wrote a pass, it will also continue writing. If you have your volume lanes showing, not such a big deal. Hopefully you'll see it. But if it's a plugin, it could be a little bit trickier. Let's take a look at an example. I have an EQ37 band on the vocal track. Let's clear the auto join line by quickly playing a little bit past it so that we're now resetting it. And let's take a look at doing a little auto join with this EQ. So we will play in and I'll write some automation on the EQ also in latch mode. Once again, the auto join indicator is visible here on the track. When I hit play again, if I roll past that auto join indicator, the EQ will immediately continue writing the last automation value that it had been writing. If I were to close it and forget about that, that could be a real problem. So let's take a look and see it happen. And it's just going to keep on writing that automation until I either match out or stop. But of course, if I simply stop, I was just in a pass with auto join active where a latch parameter was writing automation. So once again, I have the auto join line and potentially this automation could just keep on continuing down the line throughout my session. On the one hand, useful. On the other hand, dangerous. So auto join is clearly really powerful, but you've got to be careful with it and make sure that you keep an eye to your auto join indicator on your automation enables window and turn it off whenever you don't need it. That's it for this quick tip.